Hi everybody, it's Terry here. How are you doing today? It is a Tuesday afternoon and we are having a thunderstorm. So that's great. I love thunderstorms. Anyway, I'm here to do part two of the stamps I have purchased online or at the post office or from somebody that, not necessarily that I know, but somebody that somebody else knows. <laughs> anyway, you, you know, if you're a stamp collector, you know. Actually, the ones I'm going to show you, I bought when I lived in Sarnia and I moved to Chatham in 2009. So, because I bought them when my kids were little, before YouTube was even uh, thought of, before the internet was even thought of, the internet as we know it now. Who would have ever thought that now there's all kinds of stamp YouTube channels? It's so, so cool. And I've learned a lot from other people. And hopefully maybe somebody will learn something from me. I'm not a pro at this. I started as a hobby and I'm continuing it as a hobby. I don't resell my stamps. Although I might start because I have been getting a lot of duplicates. So generally what I do is when I do get duplicates of a stamp, I like to get keep three, one for my album, one for maybe a topic that I want to start collecting, and then one just to have in case uh, something happens to the other two, or who knows, I don't know, maybe I'll put it in a display it somehow. Anyway, so these ones I'm showing are I bought from the post office, like way back. In the 1990s, the two, 2000s. So anyway, there's two packages. And these ones are souvenir sheets. And these ones are souvenir books or first day covers. So just to remind you, this is the pile that I showed on, my, on part one. These are all stamps I purchased online either from eBay, Etsy, Amazon, Royal Mail, Canada Post. Some are ones that I bought in person at Canada Post. That's what these are. Some I bought from people that reached out to me on Facebook and that. And I think there are some U.S. ones in here, I believe, but I think 90% of them are Canada. Canada. Yay. Although U.S. too, yay, because I'm American as well. I'll take these ones out. I'm going to put it in this thing again, and I will get back to you. Okay, so I took them out. So because I have the two different kinds, I might need to do a part two of part two. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, we'll get started, and I'm just going to use my fingers. They're my stamps, so I can if I want. So most of these are blocks or on a souvenir sheet. So this one is 50 cents. This one has been used. It's not mint, but I don't think it's ever been hinged. So these ones are, don't really know what they are signifying except I'm going to say, well, that looks like somebody hiking, boating, an announcer, mountain climbing, maybe. Anyway, I think I've heard of this person, Harry Red Foster. Anyway, these are um, 45 cent stamps. And then these are legendary people. See, this one has a postmark on it. Okay, so these ones, oh, these ones, I'm sorry, were 42 cent stamps. These are, I think I read this where they're like highways of different provinces. And I guess probably what each prov province represents. They found a lot, have found a lot of dinosaur bones in Alberta. 
No, those ones were 45 cents. These are 46 cents. So this obviously has to do with racing, horse racing. So nice. This one is clowns. No, actually it's circus. It's got a little bit of damage here, probably because I've had it so long. And I probably, I haven't stored it properly. But the stamps themselves are in good shape. Whether you like clowns or don't, I really don't. I find them scary myself. But anyway, really pretty though. Like the, the colors are really, really nice. And they are 45 cents. These ones are dinosaurs. Probably maybe dinosaurs they found in Canada. Like the bones. 43 cents. Very nice. This one was 2000 in. Or no. This one is from 1999. Can you hear the thunder out there? So this is a Millennium Damp. And it's holographic. So it goes from 1999 to 2000, and it's 46 cents. And then this is um, a peace, love, peace and love stamp, and it is 95 cents. And then there's another one, a peace and love with a dove. With a little girl and a dove 55 cents these came in this container in this here as you can see it's got some damage to it i wonder if i could clean that off so it came in here so these are actually my my friend uh, julianne who i have mentioned before maybe not so much on this channel but on another channel so gave me this this set the second set so I still have the ones that I bought in 1999. And it came with a, a nickel. I believe it's a nickel. It's got a dove with 2000 on it. It says, just says millennium. Maybe it's a quarter. There we go. That is one side. And then this is the other. Although Canada Post does sell um, coin sets. I'll have to check that out. Anyway, it's kind of nice now to have two sets. I think I have this case somewhere too. Because she gave it to me in the case. So those are nice to have. Oh, this goes in there. Let's move on. So this is, I don't know if this is storytelling or what, but these are also postmarked. I wonder if these were postmarked on the same day, on the day that they came out, because these other ones are also from Nova Scotia. So I don't know what that's all about. This has a different postmark. And this one is the Four Indian Kings. So I just put it in this uh, protection, this bag to protect it. And they are 57 cents. Here's some more creatures. So I'm wondering if this was a story too. And it also has... Uh, cancellation on it from Nova Scotia. I think these were like the first day, just because the the cancellation is the same on the other ones. And this souvenir sheet is this is Walt Disney World, Florida. Winnie the Pooh limited edition. I don't see a date on these either. So that's nice. Nice to have. It'd be nice to put them away finally. Find them a home. 
So then the superheroes. So in case you didn't know, Superman was created in Canada. And then there's uh, Johnny Canuck, Nelvana, Captain Canuck, and Fleur Delays. Must be from Quebec. Anyway, so those are nice to have. And then the last one of the souvenir sheets that I have is Marco Polo. And I believe this is two countries, a two country stamp set. So this is Australia and this is Canada. So. So this is 12 minutes in. I'm not sure whether I should do these or not. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you look forward to the souvenir booklets and, and that that I'm going to show. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And thanks for staying to the end. Talk to you later. Bye now.